This morning, I will give you tip number eight. So, I spoke to you in tip number seven about the possibility of changing the way we look at the world. Some people in the past have said that when we are adults, we cannot change. Now we know with the new scientific research that this is not true. We can change. Today, I'd like you to do an experiment. Close your eyes. And today, reach out impersonally to the world. But more specifically, reach out to India. Reach out to all the people who are working with COVID and all the people who have the COVID. Those people who are sick are suffering through one of the largest spikes that India has faced so far. I want you, just for a moment, to practice dana, which is generosity, to send peace and calm and strength to those people who are working, to the lab technicians and the maintenance people, to the people who are in taking blood, those people who are working with the x-rays, those people who are in the labs and all the services in the hospital. Reach out in your mind and bring them into your heart the way that you have learned to do this with one spiritual friend. Pull them into your heart for three minutes, three times on Sundays. Each week, three times, three times on Sunday. Pull them into your heart and give them a big heart hug. And those patients who are suffering at home, alone, or with family. Reach out in your mind and give them hope. Send them hope and let them know that change can come. One day, things will change again. All things are impermanent. That which arises always passes away, but can change and become more serious as it is right now. Please take your masks seriously. Wear your masks all the time. Obey your curfew. Help your government. This is the message to all of India. I hope everyone listens. This is a message of hope for India. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.